What a week of calls, folks. First up, a few calls regarding a national database for police officer conduct and whether there should be a national certification or license for policing that can be revoked for bad behavior. I go along with them taking the police officers permit to carry a badge or a gun if they are doing wrong. I think they should be treated just like the public is treated. No, I don't think a police officer should have a license. Yeah, we got some good cops. We got some few bad cops out there. But the news media is what's making it so much rougher to recruit these individuals for police officers. It should be a way that they could check those police records. One from one department from another one is bad business. Courtney Francisco reported on the lack of air conditioning at Delhi Middle School after a staffer sent pics showing classroom temps in the 90s, which prompted George to call with a back-in-my-day response. I can remember the days that we sweat our you-know-what off, and we still learn. And the kids seemed like they were better back then uh, in my generation than they are now. Boo-hoo for the kids that have to sweat it out. Should college athletes be allowed to make money off their name and likeness or get paid to go to school? They are already receiving a free education. They receive compensation with their meals, their room and board. I just think it's going to be open in Pandora's box. It is a terrible idea. It's never been done. It should never be done. I don't think college athletes should get paid. Getting a free education for your ride is plenty enough. There's no way that college students should be paid for college sports are getting a free education. That's a lot of money. The issue of requiring vaccinations at area universities was a topic this week. Yes, public universities should be able to require the COVID-19 vaccine. No vaccine should be demanded by any organization, any corporation. And whenever your kids start school from kindergarten up, they have to have all their immunization shots, so why shouldn't these college kids have to have them? Finally, cicadas, cicada everywhere, and some appear to make good eats. I am really uh, glad that you all are talking about the restaurants that are serving these cicadas, so I know where to not go ever again. <laughs> these cicadas are driving me crazy, and how people can eat something like this is beyond me. Is everybody going crazy? <laughs> what is this world coming to? You're actually eating the cicadas now? and cook them in chocolate. <laughs> I mean, everybody must be going nuts. Got to try them at least once, right? Thank you so much for the Do calls. You know? And if you ever have an opinion about a story, call that number on your screen, 513-852-4998.